All right, hello everybody. Um, so we're back with another video, two videos in two days. I know that's crazy, but uh, I am trying to take whatever time I have uh, to get some of these recordings out. We're going to, need to talk about Azu today. Um, now, something I should have mentioned also in the Victor video is that sort of my logic or reasoning behind the way that I'm doing the videos right now is I'm waiting to do like the properly edited guide videos until the game has breathed a little bit. Uh, people have had chance to discover things, learn the matchups, and especially try to get like some tournaments out there to see, you know, what people are doing and, and what's winning. So I'm starting with these overview videos, trying to, you know, just do it casually because all this stuff is preliminary uh, and, you know, it's subject to change. But I wanted to start with the new characters first because they're brand new. There's no Tekken 7 videos out there for them. Um, so, you know, we're all kind of starting with scratch or from scratch. The With Azu, I might do one other video for Devil Jin because I feel like they did change enough with the fly stuff that he feels almost like a, a new character. So we might do one other video for him. Otherwise, I'll start to lump the characters together and I'll start, I'll do maybe half a dozen in one, in one video uh, or so and um, and just kind of use those to, to give you guys um, some tech and whatnot before we move on eventually to to the guide videos. But yeah, all this stuff is preliminary, just a casual conversation um, or discussion about the character just so that you guys kind of know what's going on. But with Azu, so this should actually be a fairly short conversation or discussion about her because despite what they made her look like in the trailer with this new stance and, and all this kind of goofy looking stuff, um, She's a fairly simple character. In fact, I think if you want to play her to um, um, maybe not max potential, but if you really want to play like this strong, basic, fundamental style of Tekken, you can play her with just like a few moves. So we'll actually start with that. Like the few moves I think are, are the best in her kit. And it starts really with uh, running 3-2. So most people are going to consider this her best move because it's extremely powerful. So it's a natural, whoops, it's a natural combo, knee into an elbow. So you're not going to be able to parry it with uh, traditional um, parries. Even though that second hit is high, the move does jail, so you can't duck that second one. Um, strictly speaking, the the move is, is linear, like on paper, but because you can vary your run timing, it's very easy to follow them. So all you have to do is just pay attention to how you're doing your run and you can realign yourself. And what's more is that it's sort of uh, got that, what do you want to call it? The hell sweep vortex going on where if you hit it, then you just do it again. <laughs> and they're right back in the same crappy situation. Um, like as you saw there, it's plus five. So it's one of those things where, it, because it's so fast too, I mean, that knee is 15 frames. That is insanely fast um, for a move like this. Uh, so you can kind of do this just all throughout the match and just force them to deal with it. And it's not easy to deal with. Even if you step it, because of how far forward she goes, if you've ever watched Azucena play, you've probably seen this happen where even if you step it, she just flies right by you. Um, so that happens a whole lot um, and trying to step the knee and then duck the elbow is is not as easy <laughs> It's easier said than done. Let me put it that way So it's just an insanely strong move that sort of like Dragunov It's kind of a version of his running too, where you just keep doing it like that's your main pressure tool That's what you're gonna be doing most of the match, but the other thing the other couple moves I should say to complement that, the first one is her down forward one. So uh, she has down forward one four, this is a natural combo, hits really hard, almost 30 damage. Both of these hits are safe. Uh, the down forward one of course is fairly standard, 13 frames mid. Um, but what makes hers unique is that you can't duck this. So it jails, which is really rare throughout the cast. For, I mean, even Victor and Reyna that we just went over, um, when you do a down forward one, they have high options, safe high options after their down forward ones, but you can duck those, duck and punish them. So with her, you can't do that. And what's more is that she has string options afterwards. So that uh, this safe high, and then it's, 
it's technically unsafe, but the mid negative 10, um, you know, a lot of characters do have pretty hefty jab punishes, but um, you know, it could be worse. Negative 10 is not the worst thing in the world. Um, assuming that they remember that, I mean, it again, that's pretty rare. Like most of the time you're gonna see negative 12s, not negative 10. Um, but if they run into that high, which is common, because it is, uh, unless you do something really fa fast, like a crouch jab or something, it's really hard to crush that. Um, that's a, it's a counter hit launcher. So she has like all these threats from a very simple string. Um, one that you would be, you would normally expect just to be able to duck that second hit and you, and you can't. So this is another move that you can just spam over and over and over again. Now, the third big move to me is uh, is a low. And down back four is my go-to for two reasons. One, it's fairly fast. Um, but it hits really hard for just a low poke. So it on counter hit, you do get this toast done, so you get a bunch um, of advantage. On normal hit, you're only gonna get the negative three, but 17 damage for a low poke is really good. That's on the high end. And when I first saw this, it reminded me of Marduk's, his, uh, his down three, which is this little ankle kick. Um, it does like roughly the same damage, but if you go back to Tekken 7 and watch Marduk players play, they abuse the hell out of that low kick because it tracks both directions. Um, hers is, is a little uh, riskier than his was because his was only negative 12, hers is negative 14. Um, so some characters are gonna be able to launch that, but it has really good range. Um, it doesn't track both ways, but it does have some tracking to it. Uh, a little bit of uh, high crushing to it as well, but you can just like, you can eat up a life bar if they just sit there and keep eating this. Otherwise, the, the other big one that a lot of people like to use is full crouch down forward three. You'll notice same exact damage as down back four. So again, you can eat up a life bar by doing this. Uh, it's a little bit safer at negative 13 but it actually gives you plus. So you're you're at advantage uh, after you hit this. So if you hit this and you do like your while standing four string, which for her is a two hitter um, and does a nice chunk of damage. So they're not gonna be able to beat that. Uh, you can also do her while standing one afterwards, which is her 13 frame while standing hit. This is actually extremely strong because she stays crouching the whole time. Um, and it is a counter hit launcher. So uh, the, it's a really good setup if people are just mashing. Um, you'll see this off of other stuff as well, like um, uh, down one. Down one is a very safe chunky mid, but she can go to crouch afterwards. Uh, and if they're just mashing highs or jabs or whatever afterwards while standing one is gonna catch them. But back to the, to the low, um, just a really nice quick, um, you know, full crouch mix up. But uh, you know, if you just do it from neutral, uh, again, it has really nice range. Uh, and if you hit counter hit, you get a free crouch grab, um, which for her, I mean, if you just look at the damage, 50 damage, that's basically a juggle. I mean, that's more than a low parry. Um, and it's a heat engager for her. So, uh, and on because of the system change to Tekken 8, you can't break that, it's just free. Um, so very, very good low. And then that's it. Like you could just stop there <laughs> and you could play her just like that. And it would be really good because you're getting chunky damage from your lows. Um, it's really hard for them, you know, to stop the pressure off of running three, two. And then if they're trying to, you know, down forward one, four is just so crazy off of that quick of a mid poke. Um, so that's what I mean when you can, when I say that you can just pay, play this really simple, um, like fundamental Tekken style. But what makes her beyond that and, and eventually what the, you know, the best Azus in the world are you're gonna see is that she does have a kit that just kind of builds on that. So like her jabs, she has two jab punishers. Uh, one, two is like your big chunky one, but one, one, you know, still does a hefty amount of damage. It's a safe mid, high mid, so you can't duck it. Um, and it goes to her lib stance, which we'll talk about stances here in a minute. But uh, you'll see this a lot just because it's, it, you know, almost risk free. And if it hits, you get a nice chunk of damage and you're going to stance with advantage. Uh, similarly to one, just a safe high mid poke, which uh, has a third hit. So, you know, they have to, even if they block it, they have to be really careful about just trying to take their turn. Because not only is, uh, is negative three really, really safe, 
but you know if they run into this um you know you're gonna get free free hits and you're gonna well sorry not free hits but you're gonna get that knockdown um yeah, I'm messing it up sorry and then it's gonna go right back into the running three two pressure so uh or if you're at the wall you know that's that's gonna wall splat so you have to be really careful with that and then if you want another sort of like mid string junk she has her standing three so this is kind of a throwback to josie or fakam uh just a safe rangy uh 14 frame mid kick but you have two options off of it her three three both of these are natural combos by the way three three is the safe high um very very safe uh and then three two is the unsafe mid but the three two if you catch somebody trying to swing or duck or whatever you know it's gonna do that flop and you can get some extra damage so very very scary on this especially at the wall because this will wall splat for a lot of damage um so you have that and then uh, if you want uh, to go to back turn, she has like a quick uh, standing four string, um, which has the, again, the safe high to it, or it has um, an, an unsafe uh, mid check from it. Um, so you have those. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, beyond that, so I think like that's kind of the core of her game. You don't really need anything beyond that. However, uh, once you get people to slow down or maybe you just want to open up the box a little bit she has a ton of these like single hit chunky attacks so one plus four this is one that you'll see a lot because it high crushes so it's very good at catching jabs very safe um as well as it has some decent range but it's also very quick at 15 frames and if you catch that counter hit you're gonna you're gonna get a launch similarly down one uh, you know, I already mentioned this earlier for like full crouch stuff, but very, very safe on block. Uh, you can hold it down to go to full crouch. A lot of advantage if you hit it, or if you happen to get that counter hit, you're you're gonna get a juggle. Um, forward one plus two, uh, another, this is actually kind of very similar to, uh, to Victor's. Very good range on it, has armor, and it's a heat engager. Uh, this is one of those things that I think is going to sort of differentiate good characters from bad characters is uh, how good their armor moves are. So these safe high armor moves that you see, really watch out for those because those are going to be powerful. And especially in this case, they go um, hers goes um, into heat. Uh, let's see, what else? So you have those chunky moves. Um, if you want some pressure, just a, kind of some old school pressure, back three plus four on block, just a chunky mid, also a heat engager. Uh, forward forward four um, is another big chunky mid. It's safe, but not uh, um, kind of slow. Not plus on block, but still zero, and you're forcing them into crouch, so that's pretty good. If you want, uh, um, if you want to go to stance, with uh, plus frames, you got forward, forward, three plus four. So this is gonna take you to lib with plus four, or you can do a uh, wall standing three, same sort of deal, plus four, um, and uh, also a mid. Uh, so those are all like just pretty standard pressure tools. She even has like, <laughs> I don't know why they gave this to her. Well, she doesn't have a hop kick, but they gave her an orbital, really good range, hits grounded, um, safe mid. Uh, it's the same speed as uh, Brian's, so that's where the word orbital comes from. Um, but yeah, just a safe mid, low crushing launcher, but hers has the benefit of uh, not only having more range than Brian's, but it'll hit grounded. So if you ever get uh, those knockdown situations and you do this on Oki, it's pretty much free. They have to stand up and block it. If they just sit there, it's still going to hit. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to punish you. Um... And I, I think that's pretty much it for like the, you know, those go-to um, neutral tools. I guess the, the two other things that we can, before we get to stances that we can talk about are uh, um, forward three, two. So this is another one of those strings. Uh, it is safe, but that second hit can be ducked. However, you have a ton of time to confirm that. Um, so you don't have to finish the string. Uh, if you don't, it's kind of weird in the sense that she she goes to lib, but it, you know if they're waiting for that, even if you are trying to confirm it, so you're like, oh, it didn't hit, so I'm not going to finish the string. You're still in in stance 
with a negative, so you know they could theoretically punish you for that. But it also just has crazy range, um, even more so than a lot of the other things that we've talked about. Um, so it's really good as a long range punisher. Uh, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, her homing attacks are probably a good thing are good for us to mention. So she has forward four. This is another one of those uh, those strings um, that we were talking about. So she has forward four four which is a heat engager, as you can see. It's also safe, but it can be ducked. However, she has a couple of string cancels that she can use, one of which is another high that can be ducked, but as you just saw there, it gives you a little bit of an advantage on block, but they're both safe. Um, the risk to them, well, the risk to the high, of course, is that you can duck it, but the risk is that it's a cancel, right? So they have time to interrupt that. But still, it's one of those things where you can do 4-4 four, four and, um, you know, if you don't see it hit, then you can bail into uh, into one of the other ones. But it is a safe mid homing tool, so if you just want to use it for that, has pretty good range. Um, so if you're having trouble for some reason um, with them stepping against you, you can do that. Her back two is notable as well. It is a high; it's not a mid, but it's all you you can use it as a pressure tool as well since it's a plus two on block. So it gives you the knockdown and we'll talk about heat in a minute, but uh, back two actually gets a lot better in heat because you can cancel it. Um, so we'll we'll discuss that um, in a minute. But yeah, so the, the point of all of that though is that you can play a very basic uh, fundamental Tekken style with her and it's extremely strong um, because of all of this stuff that uh, gives her advantage on block or you know you just do simple poke strings and you're getting tons of damage um, out of all of this stuff. Now, what I sort of alluded to this, what will eventually sort of differentiate the really good Azus from everybody else is how you, they use her stances, um, but they're really not all that complicated. There are of course going to be some more complex setups and stuff that will emerge but she only has two she has her back turn and then she has this you know unique stance called lib the back turn is pretty straightforward the basic mix up is either two two um which you can just mash this uh it's a safe mid that goes into this hit throw for almost 40 damage or you can do three plus four um which is a, a launcher it doesn't look like a launcher but you just kind of do this really basic combo or your low whoops your low is back turn three which is a really chunky low uh that will send you into the other stance lib and then just as you would expect it is um pretty punishable although all things considered negative 13 is not bad for a big <laughs> for a big sweep like that but uh, but still, it, it is punishable. So that's your basic mix up. Every, anything else that comes out of here, like her jabs or the back turn four, are, are mostly there just to catch people trying to swing at you. If you're trying to get to back turn, um, you know, this is pretty good just going into it because this little jump animation, um, you know, it kind of looks like she's doing something. So most people are just gonna freeze up against that, uh, which should give you enough time, enough initiative uh, to run your mix up. Otherwise, standing four, that'll give you advantage on hit or four one. Um, so, and standing four is 12 frames, so so very quick. Uh, so that's just kind of the, the basic mix up with back turn. With her lib, you can boil it down to something very simple as well. She has like this big hell sweep combo uh, with down four four. Uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, here we go. Very, very unsafe on block. Uh, and then the basic mix up mid to that is lib two safe mid. If it hits, it's gonna go, it's a heat engager. So you go into heat uh, with a full bar. Everything else, again, just like back turn is mostly there for just safe checking uh, against buttons. So her jab, her jab is actually plus three, but the jab is 13 frames. So it's not as fast as a normal jab. However, still, you know, very annoying to do that lib four similarly is just this little little mid kick uh if you hit if you hit the mid kick and you continue the string that's a juggle um i don't know why that whiff there i guess i was a little late but yeah so everything else is just there to get oh i guess i should mention one plus two so this this catches people a lot it's um it's just this big launcher that likes to go under um likes to go under highs but it is very very punishable or I shouldn't say very, very, but negative 14 is, is not great. 
um, so you can punish that. But yeah, again, all of that is just there to kind of catch people hitting buttons and not respecting it. But the core mix-ups for both of those stances, pretty straightforward, right? Um, so not a whole lot there. So, or not a whole lot to talk about there. But again, you don't really need to use any of that if you don't want to. You can just stick to those core neutral uh, tools. But, you know, if you really want to kind of confuse them and get them uh, thinking about other stuff, then remember you you still don't have to get it super complicated with uh, with either of those other stances. So now let's talk about heat. So a few things happen when she's in heat. Uh, the first thing is that her lib is uh, is faster, like it, it comes out faster. Um, I, a lot has been made about this, and I'll I'll kind of show it to you because it's easier to do it just from the move list. But when she's in stance, she automatically evades highs and she will auto counter lows. Um, but the stance does not start up right away. Like there is some startup animation to it. She, you can't use it like a reversal. Like she, if you, uh, if you try to do it right away, you know, you can still get hit until she fully enters the stance. When you're in heat, it comes out uh, way quicker and she has that kind of lower entry to it. So it can go under highs and what have you. There's your, uh, the counters also get uh, a buff so if you uh as you can see here if you take a high from it it now has a built-in uh counter attack similar with the low you'll add you actually do a different move uh if she counters a low so you'll get a full juggle out of that and uh that's another thing that we can mention with heat is that she actually gains this uh this new move which is uh whoop, excuse me down three plus four it's a safe mid launcher um, it does eat up a good chunk of your bar, so, you know, obviously you have to be careful for that, or be careful about that, but very good move, you know, goes under highs, um, so, you know, they have to worry about yet a another mid, which, uh, because of that, it makes your down 4-4 four four a little bit stronger, because they're focusing on the mid more. Similarly, um, there are some, uh, moves that can cancel into the lib. So if you do that off of any of them, you will, uh, you'll get a juggle. So that's why I mentioned back two earlier, because if you manage to hit with this, then all of a sudden you can, uh, whoops, sorry, she goes into stance. Um, if I can do this right. So you can, uh, you can get a really easy juggle off of it, but even if they block it, you still go into lib with plus seven. So you're still on the offense even even if they block it. So uh, there's a couple other strings that, uh, that you can do that from as well. And then um, I think that's it. I think that's all for, for her heat. So it is very good. I mean, those things are, are nothing to, uh, um, to dismiss. Um, at the same time, um, you know, it's one of those things where it's how, how much are you using lib uh, to be able to, you know, do all this stuff. So um, her heat is good, but you know, there's probably other characters that have um, some more powerful uh, heat stuff, especially since her best moves are just neutral tools. Um, that said, uh, I think that's it. So that's why I was kind of talking about how her, uh, it was going to be a shorter discussion for her because I think that you really can just play that basic neutral spacing game with her and you can get really far with it. Uh, and then once they really start to turtle up, that's when you start doing your stance stuff, start putting on uh, the pressure for that. And they have to be careful too, uh, swinging at you. I, I guess this is the last thing that we can mention because our punishing is very good. Uh, you know, I showed you these jab strings, like almost 30 damage and that will wall splat. Um, for a jab punish is really good or you have this you know the safer high mid one um, you can do 4-1 if you want to at 12 frames um, and then 13 frames you can do your down forward one string but at 14 frames is where things start to get a little dangerous because her 3-3 three, three, over 30 damage uh, you get the knockdown or the splat if you're at the wall and then after that you start doing her down forward two. So she doesn't have a hop kick, but she does have a down forward two, which is 15 frames. This is a really important move because hers does la launch crouchers. So we talked about, uh, or when we went over Reyna, you might've remembered that they gave her a down forward two. Um, her, Reyna's is negative 12, but strictly speaking, there aren't a lot of characters that will get a better punish at negative 13 versus negative 12. So Azu essentially has the same thing, except hers will launch crouch. So very good if you have people who just 
aren't punishing this very well. You know, it has a lot of range. It go, can go under highs if you uh, if you time it well. Um, you can also get really risky if you want to. If you if you need a high crush, down back one plus two, very good. Hits grounded, gives you that big launch. Um, really good setup setup move. Uh, it's just very risky on block. But her wall standing punishment, similarly pretty good because her wall standing four one is um uh you know is above average it does that plus 20 damage uh plus you have a whoops you have a string ender to it so if they're not respecting that hit or maybe you miss the punish and it gets blocked you can still finish that uh, potentially get a, a big knockdown um she doesn't really have anything else beyond that until she gets to 15 frames and she can start launching you with wall standing two that is similar just like down forward two while standing two is another one of those good setup moves like if you go into back turn like that that is an old setup um that works a lot where you go to back turn then you turn around into crouch and then you just let it rip um because a lot of people, if they're not paying attention, you know, they try to jab you out of back turn and you just go right under it and you get the launch. Um, and then at long range too, they, they have to be careful because either you can snag them with a running three or you can do forward forward three. Uh, it's, a, it's not safe, uh, in fact, quite unsafe, but really long range launcher. So you have to be careful about that. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. I'll kind of bring it to a close here. Um, for me personally, I'm a very basic player. <laughs> I don't get super creative. Uh, so I would just stick to, you know, a handful of moves. Uh, she has those basic traditional Tekken strings um, that are very powerful. And then you have to be careful swinging back into her because not only does she have all those punishes uh, that I just mentioned, but also if you're getting a little cute and you're going into your lib stance, you know, you can get around people uh, who are just, you know, mashing jabs or, or maybe being a little too aggressive with lows. Uh, this stance is going to help with that. Oh, and highs, I guess I should mention, this stance also counters grabs. Uh, it, the grabs are considered a high as far as this stance is concerned. So she will go around grabs as well. Um, so yeah, so it's one of those things where you just start by playing a very basic game. Once they start to turtle up and they start to get scared of all these punishes or just eating 30 30 damage, um, 30 damage from a down forward one uh, over and over again. That's when you start to whip out um, your back turn and your your lib mix-ups. But it's not not super complicated. You can stick to a very simple mix-up game with those two stances uh, and just try to whittle down their defense uh, and get them to start swinging again. And then from there, uh, you know, you start doing your your counter hit stuff. Um, but that's it. So I think she's a, a super strong character um, because she's one of those characters that as you grow more comfortable with her, the stance stuff, you can get more creative with it. Uh, you can get more cute with it uh, and it will have more longevity. But if you, you know, at high level or whatever, if you need to condense that game plan down to just a few moves, she can do that very, very well. Um, so that's it. So I'll stop there again. The next video I'm thinking will be probably Devil Jin uh, because he's just changed enough that I think it warrants it. And then after that, we will probably start grouping together characters. Uh, so I, you know, it, it'll probably take too long to do an overview video like this for every single character, especially since a lot, they just got new moves or changes to fit the new system. Um, you, They didn't change their play style all that much. So, uh, so we'll do that. Uh, and then I, I do plan on putting out like little maybe tip videos and stuff for care or people who are maybe struggling to learn or they don't know how to use practice mode or whatever. Um, I might do some of that. But otherwise, expect Devil in here soon. I'll try my best actually to get that video here later this week because um, I do want to, you know, keep pumping out the content uh, until we can start doing those proper uh, basics guides. Um, and then then we can go from there. So thank you guys, everybody, for watching uh, and hanging out with me. Um, as always, you know, big shout outs to the patrons. Um, you guys are uh, you guys are great. And I really, really appreciate that support. But everybody who's watching and, and staying tuned, I appreciate that as well. I actually went uh, did some searching um, 
you know, like some algorithm stuff just to see like where my videos were hitting um, the last couple. And uh, uh, they seem to be buried, which I, I'm not surprised because you look at like Reyna. TBS did a video for Reyna and, you know, the main man has been doing his guides. So uh, I expect them to be buried a little bit. So everybody who is finding this channel and finding these videos and sticking around and watching it, you know, props to you <laughs> for finding us. Um, and then also, you know, giving us the views. I appreciate it. So we'll be back, you know, still learning the game, still making tons of notes and, uh, and trying to build that wealth of knowledge, which I will then pass along to you guys. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I hope everyone's having fun and having a good time with the game. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll chat again later this week. Have a good one.